Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this minimal line text animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's very easy to create, so let's see how to make this. Alright, so After Effects. Now before we proceed, I just want to thank each and every one of you who is following me on Instagram because we just hit 200,000 followers on that. So make sure to follow if you haven't and for those who have already done that i just want to say thank you for your love and support now let's continue all right so as now after effects and we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on okay first let's create a background so right click new let's add a solid and i'm going to make it like a little bit of white click on okay we have our background let's select the text tool let's type our first word so i'm going to type motion and let's align it in the middle of this composition using the align panel also let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center so hold on the control click double click on this so here we have our first text now if you want to change the text you can do it right now but once we check convert this into a shape layer, you won't be able to do it so if you want to make any changes to this then you can do it right now and now i'm going to select this right click and let's go to create and let's create shape from text so here we have our layer now it's a shape layer so you won't be able to edit the text and we can select this and to animate this we are going to simply add a trim path property so let's open this up and we can animate the endpoint so let's set this to zero let's add a keyframe let's move to somewhere around two and a half second or something like that let's set the endpoint to 100 select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor and we can change the graph to look like this if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now if I press play, we have our text animation. So once you're done with this, we are ready to create lines that will move across this text. So for that, let's select the pen tool. Now just simply zoom in. Let's click somewhere around here. Now hold on the shift key and just click to this point. So now we have a line. Let's align it in the middle using this align panel. And let's make sure that its anchor point is in the center as well. So again, select this layer, hold on the control key, double click on this. So once you have this, we can animate it by going under the add. Let's add a trim path property over here as well. Let's go to the very beginning and I'm going to set both of these values to zero. Let's add keyframe to start and end. Now let's move to somewhere around two seconds and I'm going to set both of these values to 100. Now we can quickly zoom in and you can see we are not able to see the line because we have to offset these keyframes. So let's just move them like a little bit ahead. Now you will be able to see your line and we can select everything press f9 let's go to the graph editor and we can change the curve to look like this so now if i press play you can see we have our line coming up now if you want to have a little bit of more delay then you can like bring these keyframes like closer so that so now if i press play we have this long line and then it goes back to zero so once you're done with this we are ready to align it where we have this text so for that let's pick a point somewhere around here now let's select this line and I'm going to place it to the very top. There you go. Maybe let's do one more thing. Let's go to this point and just bring this line over here. Once you have this, let's press Ctrl D and we can press R to rotate it by 180 degree so that this line will come from the opposite direction. Let's place it at the bottom of this. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D once again and let's press R. This time we can set this to 90 degree. And now we are ready to place them at this vertical angles. So just paste it, press Ctrl D. Let's paste some of these over here, press Ctrl D and just move them randomly to these locations. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D. This time we can rotate it, let's say by 180. So let's add 180 to this. This will be 270 so that it will start animating from the other side. Now we can move it to all of these adjacent layers let's place one to this point let's press ctrl d let's place one over here but in the same way you can like keep on duplicating and just keep on pasting all of them at these intersections and let's just place one at here so i think this looks good now we can go to the very beginning now let's select all of these layers and just bring them to the very beginning now we can select all of them and let's just quickly change their color to yellow now what you have to do is let's select them and we can play around with the timing of it. Let's select this, press U. Now let's select this, press U as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to like offset these layers like little bit. So just move them like little bit ahead. Some of them will stay here. We are basically adding more variations to them. Just randomly move these layers 
here and there. Now if I press play, you can see we have these lines going up and after that our text reveals. So once you're done with this, we can create our second text as well in the same way. So for that, let's select our text, let's enable it and this time we can change it and let's type graphics. Now let's select this right click and let's create shape from text. We are basically doing the same thing for this text as well. And now we can select this and let's just quickly change its color to let's say purple. Let's place it to the very top. Now we can select all of these layers and just move them far away. Now let's select this and we can do the same thing. So we can make use of these properties. So let's just copy this and just paste it over here. So here you can see it is animated as well. Now we can select these lines from here as well. So let's select this one, press Ctrl D. Let's bring it to the very top. We are going to reuse this element. Let's change this color to purple. Now we are going to do the same thing, just duplicate and align these lines to this text as well. So let me just quickly do that. So now I have created the second text as well. Now we can align both of these. So let's bring all of them together and just go to a point where we have both of these text visible somewhere around here. Now we can select all of these layers and just move them like to the top. So hold on the shift key and just move them a little bit up. Let's select all of them and just move them a little bit down. There you go. Now we have both of these texts. Now if I press play, you can see we have our text forming up. So now we are done with the animation. Our next step is to stylize this more. So we can select this bottom layer, which is our text. Let's press Ctrl D. Let's go to the very beginning and we can zoom in. Now let's move this layer like three frames ahead. And on the bottom one, we can apply fill effect. So let's search for and just drag it over here so that we have this red color. It's up to you. You can just change it to whatever you want. Now you can see our text is being revealed and we have this very nice red color over here. Let's do the same thing over to this graphics text. Press Ctrl D. Let's move this like three frames. And on the bottom one, let's apply the fill effect. There you go. Now we have added our red color to this. You can just change it to however you want. Now let's pick a point. So somewhere around here, we can press T. Let's add a keyframe for opacity. And let's move a little bit ahead. Set this to zero. Let's copy this and just paste it onto this bottom text as well so that we don't have any red hue over here. Press Ctrl V. There you go. Now this color will fade away. At last, we can add some really nice long shadows. So right click, let's pre compose this. Let's call this one text. Now we can select this, press Ctrl D on the bottom one. Let's apply CC radial blur. Let's drag it onto the bottom layer. Set this to fading zoom, increase the amount. And after that, we can click on the center and just place the center point to somewhere around here so that we have this very nice angle. Now it's completely up to you can make it come from the left side or right side. For this one, I'm going to stick to this position. Let's select this press T and we can lower down its opacity to let's say 70 or maybe even less. There you go. Now we have our text. And at last, if I press play, you can see we have our text forming up by these lines. If you want, you can add some delay to them as well. So for example, we want the motion text to come in first, then we can move this like a little bit ahead so that this text will start a little bit late. There you go. Now first motion will come, then graphics will come. So in this way, you can create these kind of line text animation in After Effects. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.